Hi friends, Fire on Pop here, and today I have another in my installment on uh, Armed Citizen Stories. <clears throat> I know it's been uh, only a, f uh, a short while since my last one, but a couple of things came up and I really wanted to get this on the air out to you. Okay, <clears throat> the first one came via the uh, NRA News website, and uh, and it was happened in Detroit. It's Attempted barber shop robbery turns deadly in Detroit. Now, as <clears throat> happened in Detroit, two guys walked into a very busy gents barber shop at about 5:30 p.m. Friday on Whitaker and and Stratman <clears throat> on Detroit's east side. One with with the gun said, "You know what time it is." And the, what the two bad guys didn't know was two customers were legally carrying handguns. Okay, a man in the chair getting a, a cut took advantage of pulling his gun under the cover of the schmock. Okay, <clears throat> when the one bad guy said, why are you stalling? Empty your pockets. He then fired a shot into the floor of the barber shop. That's when the customer in the chair opened fire and emptied his clip magazine containing multiple rounds. <clears throat> Three children were also standing behind the barber chair. That same customer took his unarmed hand and uh, swept the three children into a safe spot out of the way uh, against the wall. Good, good going. The end result was that none of the customers or children were hurt. One bad guy was killed and the other ran off during the shooting. Police say the deceased has a long rap sheet, surprise, surprise, and was currently out on parole for an armed robbery conviction. They are still looking for a suspect that is described as a black male with scruffy hair between the ages of 22 and 30. They say he is six foot tall and with a thin build and was wearing a white t-shirt and blue shorts. Okay, and, and that just goes to show guys uh, and gals uh, to always be ready and and uh, good for him taking advantage of the, uh, the cover of uh, of the, the uh, barber's smock and uh, with his hands underneath there and pulling out his weapon and, uh, and taking care of business and protecting those children. Okay, now this uh, next one comes out of the Bullet, which is New York State's Rifle and Pistol Association, and uh, <clears throat> it's quite timely. <clears throat> Excuse me. Armed citizen. A home invasion on Long Island turned deadly one of uh, deadly for one of the suspects early Wednesday morning. Police told WCBS 880 reporter Sophia Hall that a gunman and two other suspects forced their way inside a two-story yellow-colored home on Adams Street in East Islip around 2 a.m. The homeowner returned fire after a suspect shot the family dog, police said. One suspect died in the on the back porch and another was hospitalized, police said. <clears throat> a third suspect fled the scene but was later caught by authorities. Residents expressed shock after a violent early morning incident. We never had any problems. Nothing ever happens in this neighborhood. Don't we all say that? And then uh, we're shocked when it does. One person said, if you have to protect yourself, you have to protect yourself. Duh. If someone breaks into my house, I would probably do the same thing, another neighbor said. The dog is expected to survive. <clears throat> the man and two women who live in the home were not injured. And that was reported on WCBS News. Now, <clears throat> uh, uh, Chattatuka, Chattatuka County Sheriff's Office is investigating a shooting in the Chattatuka area <clears throat> on Thursday. According to Chattatooga County Sheriff Joseph Greasy, the shooting resulted from an armed home invasion robbery and involved two suspects and a homeowner in Mayville Sherman Road, Route 430 in Chattatooga. <coughs> These names. <coughs> The, the call came in shortly after noon. A vehicle with two suspects in it drove into the driveway of a residence in the town of Chattatooka on Route 430, said 
the police uh, officer. At this time, one of the two people inside the vehicle went to the front door of the house. The passenger stayed inside the vehicle. According to a police report, the man wanted to know if there was any la uh, land to rent in the area, and they showed force by displaying a handgun. He then told the man and woman inside the house to lie down on the floor. When the door was open, first he asked if they were selling property, then forced his way into the house while brandishing a firearm, <coughs> a handgun. He said the homeowner then armed himself with his own handgun. The owner of the home was armed with a small caliber weapon and shot the intruder, he said. The homeowner fired three rounds at the suspect. The suspect then ran from the home. The owner of the home believes he may have struck the perpetrator with burb shot, he said. He possibly struck him in the facial area. The intruder then fled the area and with the other suspect in the vehicle. The vehicle is described to be a 1990 Chrysler sedan, possibly a Chrysler LeBaron, either light blue or light green in color. The man who approached the house is described to be a white male, 5 feet 8 inches tall and 160 pounds, wearing a gray shirt and possibly wearing blue jeans, with dark hair and small beard. <coughs> The driver of the vehicle is described as a white male, 5 foot, 10 inches tall, and thin build, wearing unknown clothes, described to be wearing a face mask and a blue rubber gloves. It is believed that the driver had a mask on at the time, said the police sergeant. A vehicle was last seen fleeing on Route 430 in a southern, southern direction uh, toward the Sherman area. The motive for the crime is currently under investigation, he said. That is something they are working on currently, he said. Investigators and deputies are in the area working on as as we speak. Anyone with the information regarding this crime is asked to contact the sheriff's office at 753-4232. And, uh, <clears throat> and that's important, folks. Uh, I'm reading these. Both of these are, are, uh, are current and uh, as of uh, uh, the airing of uh, making of this video. And uh, all these suspects are trying to be located. Now, that doesn't mean you can go out and uh, and play sheriff yourself. Uh, if you happen to <clears throat> know of or see or have any information about these, contact the proper authorities. Don't get involved. Uh, not physically. Get involved as far as calling and contacting the proper authorities. Uh, that's my best advice uh, that I can give you. <clears throat> um, I enjoy both all three of these stories uh, that much that I wanted to bring them to you as soon as possible because the fugitives are still at large. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> this is Fire on Pop. You can find me on Facebook at Fire on Pop. You can find me on the web at fireonpop.com. And as usual, uh, be safe and God bless. Bye now.